Hey, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, it's Sam from Viral Media Network. I'm back again with the Knowledge Cards. It's day 27. If you're new to this series, every day for the month of February, in honor of Black History Month, I draw a card and I read something that was uh, either a person, a place, or a thing, an event, that sort of thing uh, that happened during the Civil Rights Movement, mainly during the 50s and 60s, but as we've read, there's some stuff that lead up to that. Uh, obviously, it's never in a vacuum, and so sometimes you read things about things that happened uh, during the turn of the century, Prohibition times, Jim Crow era, 20s, 30s, that kind of thing. And we try and relate it to what's going on today in the world. Um, and again, um, if you have anything to say, please put it in the comment section, any, anything of your experience. But you also might be saying, it's the end of March, not Black History Month. What are you doing? Well, again, if you're new to this series... Started in February, got busy with work, and I couldn't keep up the daily grind of it. So here I am in March, trying to make the wrongs of the past, just like a good white person, right? <laughs> um, which kind of alludes to reparations, but I don't want to get into that whole conversation today. Let me just say that I support it. <laughs> okay, probably going to edit that part out. But anyways, so there are 48 cards in this deck. For the month of February, I intended to do 28, but since we're in March, I'm going to do a bonus three and do a total of 31. So we won't get to everyone in this deck, but we are pretty much halfway through. Yesterday, we drew Ella Baker, and so on the back, there are text and, uh, you know, describing what happened and, and who the person is or what the event signifies. Uh, I flipped over the ones that we've done already, so um, we're basically, we're more than halfway. So let me separate those two, and so here... See how they're flipped over? See that? These are the ones we haven't done. So I'm going to shuffle them three times real quick, and that will be the one that I'll do for the day. So uh, a lot of these cards I, I did not know about, obviously, and that's kind of the point of doing them. And, and, and as I mentioned in some of the videos before, even the cards that I have drawn, and I said, oh, I learned that in school, or I remember someone teaching me that, or, or watching a video about it, or whatever, um, educating myself somehow about it. In the context of what's going on today, or maybe what they say on this card gives me new light and, and new information. And so it's been a learning experience this whole this whole uh, video series, and I'm really happy I did it um, because that's what it's all about. Um, and it's just a starting point. Again, I think I need to get more involved and really help fight for more um, more justice. And today's card I drew is. Daisy Bates, you know, I've been drawing a lot of women. There's certainly a lot of men um, in this movement. Um, but, you know, March is actually, uh, you know, Women Appreciation Month. So we're kind of tying that in as well. There's a lot of women that we're drawing on here. Um, Daisy Bates. From her own experiences with racism, Daisy Bates was determined to change society, which allowed segregation to exist. She helped... She and her husband owned the Arkansas State Press, a weekly newspaper which spoke out against racial discrimination, police brutality, and other injustices. As president of the Arkansas NAACP, she organized and protected the Little Rock Nine, African-American students who desegregated the city's central high school in 1957. That's another card we drew earlier. Bates endured constant harassment. A rock was thrown through her window with the words, Stone this time, dynamite next, scribbled on a piece of paper. Later that year, her home was bombed. She and the students received the Spingarn Medal, the highest NAACP award, for their courage in the crisis. But because of her involvement, her newspaper suffered economically and was forced to close. In 1985, the Arkansas State Press was revived and Bates resumed her role as a publisher. You know, that's, you know, again, the perseverance. Um... Uh, again, you know, not starting again till uh, 1985. That's a long time. But, um, you know, if you have patience uh, and, and a lot of African-Americans have a lot of patience, especially with folks like me. Um, and, uh, you know, it's just just to see her see her efforts really come to fruition. And, and again, working with her husband, you know, being a journalist and kind of having the ethical, moral, uh, I should say the ethical standards as a journalist, 
you know, you see injustice and wanting to report it. And then all, sometimes you want to do something about it. And so she really did. And, um, you know, to help protect the Little Rock Nine, to be involved with the NAACP, um, uh, the the Ar Arkansas chapter of the NAACP, you know, helping the the, Ar uh, the Little Rock Nine uh, and support them being able to get to school safely. Um, you know, a really formidable person in the um, in the movement, and and probably not taught a, taught um, enough about. Um, when it comes to general public uh, education in the elementary and high school um, system, but could be wrong. I don't. I don't have a kid yet in the public school system. My daughter's three, so we'll see what that happens. But uh, anyways, it's day twenty-seven of the knowledge cards put out by the Library of Congress. Daisy, Daisy Bates, thank you again for your contributions to the movement and for fighting for equality and justice. I'm Sam from Viral Media Network. If you have something to say, put it in the comments, like, subscribe, and share. Hit that notification bell if you'd like to uh, get notified when more videos come up. And if you dislike it, dislike it and tell me why in the comments. I'd like to make videos for my audience and people to enjoy. Uh, so we'll see you tomorrow for day 28 of the Knowledge Cards. And be kind to one another. Share and discourse with those that differ from you. I bet you you will find as much differences, but you'll also find as much similarities. And let's come together and engage and embrace our diversity while also sharing our commonality. Peace. Thanks again for watching.